Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Resident Evil 4, the remake. You may think this is a bit strange for me to be doing as a YouTube series, but uh, my Twitch streams are kind of full and I thought this might be more fun to do as a YouTube series. So let's just jump into the main menu here. You're going to notice that I've completed some challenges. Now, funny story, I thought I'll do the YouTube series, we'll do it on hardcore because that'll be fun. I got my ass kicked. I got absolutely devastated and I decided I didn't want to do that. So, I am now starting again uh, on normal mode. Because Hardcore is, uh, it lied to me. I have played the original Resident Evil 4 quite a lot. I feel it didn't really help me that much. Just gonna say. So we're gonna play on standard. I have got like an hour of me playing on Hardcore recorded. So... I might release that as a members only video or something. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. But we're going to press standard and we're going to jump straight in. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice training, punishing missions, nearly killed me, but at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time it can be different. It has to. So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here, and it's been that way for a while now. Well then, it should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? <laughs> you smoke?
He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, what's the car? Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. And here we are. I definitely feel like the other police officer should be the one who goes and finds his friend who's gone missing. So the first thing I will note about this game is it is gloriously beautiful. I mean, look at it. It is brilliant. So is there anything hidden off around here? I don't think so. Oh, yes, we can run. We have two buttons for run. R1 is run as well, which is a bit of a strange button. It will make it work. Always a good sign when you're walking down a path and you see an eviscerated animal on the side of the path. Totally doesn't mean there's a cult nearby. We can crouch. I would like that hammer, or maybe that pitchfork, please. I feel like those weapons could be remarkably useful. Anybody around here? This house has got decidedly bigger from the original Resident Evil 4, that's for sure. Oh, okay, let's, uh, let's head in. Housekeeping. Anyone home? Hmm. Go in here first. Hello? Is anybody here? I mean, it's covered in blood, which is not a good start. Judgment is nigh. we see anything through this crack in the wall? I don't think we can. All right, well, at least we have a gun. That's the... <laughs> when trespassing in other people's property, at least having a gun is a step in the right direction. There's a door here, hang on. No, there isn't. Never mind. I'm just imagining things. I'm going there. Oh, hello. Oh, he looks like a friendly fella. Got a big bushy beard. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Wait, is Leon fully fluent in Spanish? God, that was a kick. Almost broke the bloody wall. Wait, did we break the wall? That would be really funny. This is we did not good. Okay. Hunter's Lodge key? Guessing that's for the door. Anything to steal around here? Only got ten bullets. We do have a knife, though. But I have learned, rather painfully, 
So the night breaks. Which, on the hardcore run, caused me great distress, I'll be honest. Uh, especially since I'm used to... What's this? Oh, it's the... It's the badge. Can I take this with me? National Police Corps. Mario Fernandez Castano. Police officer. We're just going to leave that there. I feel like we should take that with us. We obtained a file. Oh, yeah. Let's go into the creepy door. I have a long distaste of basements in, uh, in pseudo-horror games. Mostly because of visage. 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 However you want to say it. Um, but there has been other other horror games that do not fill me with confidence when it comes to this. At least we have a torch. It reminds me of Resident Evil 3. Point, no, 2.5? dead indeed. <coughs> Ready weapon, shoot that? weapon. Never a good sign. And the game teaches you how to defend yourself. No oh my way. god. Nice. I mentioned how legendary my shooting is. God damn it. Get off. You'll notice how the knife took damage then. This just keeps getting worse. Okay. So, I've got to be sparing with the knife. We don't wanna We don't wanna damage it. I guess the developers decided that the uh, shoot them in the head, kick them to the floor, and slash until they're dead mechanic. Uh made the game too easy, huh? Hello? Oh crap. No, there is more of them. Getting out of here. Front door. Oh, hello. Matt. The two of them. I've only got six bullets, so... I'm thinking... Bye-bye. <laughs> You'll never catch me. Here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Uh oh. I gotta go. Talk later. Myself out. I'm so happy Leon still has his quips. The game just wouldn't be the same, would it? Mm. Alright. Map updated. We do, in fact, have a map. And it does have important information on it. 
So uh, we'll have to keep our eyes open for that. We also have that attaché case, which is just incredibly useful. Here, look, a combat knife. A weapon suited for close encounters. It has been Leon's go-to since receiving it during his time in the RPD, which is Raccoon Police Department. It does appear like we're going to have multiple types of melee weapon, which could be interesting. Of course, I would rather just have a knife that doesn't break, but makers can't be choosers. A wooden bridge. At least the chance about to say, at least the chains can't snap. And then, uh, yep, no, they do. Never mind. Let's just boop, 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 boo. Why is it covered in blood? That doesn't bode well, does it? That is a big bird. And the barrel we can break. Do I need to knife it or no? <laughs> Sweet. Bullets. Hallelujah. Only Leon would go to an active combat zone with the bullets in his gun and no backups. Just quickly save. I'm just going to overwrite the hardcore save. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, God. One day, maybe. One day I'll be a good gamer. I'm hoping it isn't as, like... It's not as brutal on normal mode. I don't think it will be. I don't mind a challenge, but oh my God. Doggo, no! Doggo? Wolf? Could be a wolf. That better not be the dog that we can save. In this game, the developer's just like, yeah, nah, not in the remake, mate. More bullets. Oh, it's stealth. Can we be all sneaky sneaky on these guys? Or are they going to see us coming? If they see us coming, then... Kind of doesn't matter. No, I think they see us coming. Un forastero. I don't speak Spanish, but I'm pretty sure he's over there or something. That is what that means. Something about escaping. Oh, good lord! You dead? What are you doing? Why are you wiggling? What the... Oh, god. This isn't supposed to be a thing yet. Okay. They don't stay dead, huh? Lovely. Ow. Gunpowder. Now, as long as you guys keep dropping me tons of bullets, this will be a lovely experience, and we can all just have some fun. I'm not entirely happy about getting slapped in the shoulder with a very sharp object, but what can you do? Now, we've seen lots of bear traps on the ground. Yeah, like, is there a bear trap around here? Let's not step in that. I hear somebody. That is somebody, they're moving. Can I shoot him in the head? Lean back. Lean back just a little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Yeah. I don't know if that... Nope, that did not stun him. They did. A red herb. <sighs> Flash grenade. I wonder if they work the same as they did in uh, the 2005 Resident Evil 4 where you could throw them in it. Well, hurt a specific type of enemy. I feel like I should have a green herb by now.
Oh well. <laughs> Normally you get a green herb before you get a red herb. I'm guessing I missed something in my haste. <coughs> lovely. Absolutely lovely. You know it's a charming destination when there are heads on poles on top of the gates. And, oh, no, never mind, only three now. Ha <laughs> screw you, gate. Oh, no. I remember this. We don't need to see that. What we need to know is how many there are here. Quite a lot, as a matter of fact. I don't think we're going to be able to save him, so let's... Maybe we can just sneak around them all. Eh? A little bit of sneaky sneaky. If there was two of us, we could get up here. It looks like, uh throw Ashley at the solution sort of problem. Or well, at the problem sort of solution would make much more sense. It's this way. Oh, is this just another... Ah, oh, okay, this is just like the more sneaky way to get through. Right? I've never really thought of Resident Evil 4 as being any sort of sneaky game. But maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. I think they know I'm here. Yeah, they definitely know I'm here. Okay. Oh, Christ. Get off. Did I pick up a green herb? Did. Let's craft those together. Use it straight away. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Excuse me. Coming through. It's fine. I dodged it. That was bullets. I'll take them. Okay. Oh, the melee immunity still works. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Keep st oh, where are you walk away from? Oh, they are literally just jumping in, huh? Okay, well, let's just hide in here. Need a key for that, huh? This is fine. Can we push the... Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, hi. That's a really big shovel. Oh, oh come on. Really this early? Oh dear. Get off. I don't want to break my knife. Okay, no, one option. Excuse me. Is that more ammo? Good it was. So, there's a chainsaw, but... Jesus freaking Christ. No, 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 no. Door open, please. Oh, hi. Don't mind me. Hi. Bullets, please. Mmm, a hand grenade, you say. Oh, dear. Uh... I can make this work. I can totally make this work. It 
It didn't work. Is that Ida gonna save me? <laughs> Ida, please. I need you. Oh, you dear. Oh, this is a very much a dead end, huh? Oh no, we're good. We can vault. Chickens? <gasps> Eggs! My saviors. Chickens are the real MVPs in Resident Evil 4. Nice shooting, Rex. Wait, can we hide up here? Don't get me, you bastards. Oh my god. Never mind. Hi, bye. Ow. Did I just get caught on a bloody stair? This is fine. Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> Perfectly fine. Uh, play anyhow. It's, it's... Nothing to worry about. Okay, uh... Oh, wait, wasn't there a red hub? Bruce to Condor 1. I've identified a brute to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. Bruce out. Yeah, be careful. Definitely be careful. Where was that red hub? It's down here. I suppose I could just eat the egg. Yeah, perfect. Free money. Never say no to free money. Oh god, where was it? Oh, it's around the corner. I was like, it definitely said it was around here somewhere. Here it is. I oh, will take that for the uh, for the heal, obviously. Now, is there anything else around here? I, I kind of frantically ran. No. That's the one where we can throw Ashley in there later. I guess when we come back to the village. I should say um, that I have played the original Resident Evil 4 a lot. Uh, I kind of have a rough idea what's going on. But then on the other hand, they seem to have changed this game significantly enough where I have absolutely no idea what's going on at the same time. It's a very bizarre experience. It's why I was tricked into playing on the hardcore mode. I was like, oh, if it's just a faithful remake of the original, I know exactly what I need to do. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. It's it's faithful in some ways, and uh, not faithful in others. Have I missed anything in here? Yes. Eggs, gunpowders, and rubies? Good lord, that's that's all the good stuff. Around the back here. No 
Nope, I'm on completely the wrong side. Oh, I did miss a box here, though. So it was worth it. Ten more bullets. Never say no to ten more bullets. Straight away, there seems to be a lot more ammunition on normal mode compared to hardcore mode, because I can quite easily compare these two sections right now. <laughs> oh, I still can't believe I fell for that. There's a ruby. Oh, ruby, yeah. I don't know where that ruby came from. I wonder if you can still find, like, spinels in the ceilings and stuff like that. Usually they glint. Be a little bit of a sparkle. Let's get out of here. Should be up here this way? Did I check in here? I think I checked in here, but let me just be thorough. I did not. Another ruby. A rubies, the new spells. More bullets. Oh my god. I will take them. I can hear them. Now this is the farmstead. There it is. This is also as far as I got in hardcore. So, uh, uh, hopefully, this isn't quite so bad this time round. I mean, I have about 30 more bullets than I had last time I came here, so that's a step in the right direction. Also, I want to see if stealth takedowns are a thing. As I know, there's a lady around this corner, but uh, the, my knife was broken, so I never tried. Are you serious? Did I just get beaten up? By a cow? But yes, you can do stealth takedowns. And they seem to work quite well. I think he used up durability in the knife though. Sure, how I feel about the knife having durability. I think I liked it. Wait, is that medallions? Are the medallions still here? Real question is: Is the pearl necklace here? Yeah, it does. It does use of durability, but not a lot. But I do think it's worthwhile. Ah, oh. is this the pearl necklace puzzle? But it's been changed. Give it a second. is. The Pearl Pendant. Are these all, are these pendants in the same place? The, the medallions, sorry, they're in the same place they were in the original game. It's been a little while since I played the original. I did stream the whole thing. God Cows! Oh my god. My ass kicked by cows, what the hell? <laughs> Out of all the things that I thought was going to kill me, cows were not one of them. Leave this one in the window? Like the... The barn window? Yeah. One left. Don't remember where it is. So, <laughs> I guess I'll... Unless it's around this corner. It's green herb. I feel like it was up. Somewhere. Let's just grab the piece of paper. For the love of God, will somebody please get rid of the blue medallions? Those religious lunatics left hanging around. Destroy all the blue medallions. The area farm. Reward spin all times three. I don't think that is good. I remember you got a gun or something when you did it originally. 
I will be judging this game purely on their depiction of the trader, though. What are you buying? What are you selling? It is the best character of the entire game. Wait, where is it? No, it is over there. What? 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 Oh, I'm so confused. Hang on. I can still hear something mumbling as well. I think they're inside this building. Where am I looking? Should be right in front of me, right? I see it. It's behind this building. There it is. Destroy the blue medallions. Complete. Sweet. Can I heal? I should probably heal, shouldn't I? I'll eat my egg. Guessing we can't get in through here, yes? Yep. Don't worry, there's a door on the other side. No good. It is locked. Hello? She appears to be having some sort of fun in there. Terrified these cows are gonna try and kill me. Oh my god. Great shooting, Rex. Alright. Now this is one of those puzzles where we have to shoot the lock. Steady that aim, Leon. Are you si- Come on! Oh man... These cows, they just hate me. Right. Get your knife? Is that is that knife got different stats? A knife made for cooking. It's edge. Chips. Easy. So it's I got a very fast attack speed but doesn't do much damage. I'm gonna equip that over the combat knife, just because well, why not, I suppose. What's this? A wooden cog. I'm sure that's useful for some. Hello? God damn! What the shit? Leon, open the door! Oh my god. Wait, Lou. I need this. Oh no. Bad day, bad day, bad day. Okay. How do I deal with this situation? Oh hi. Where'd you come from? Oh, it's more of them. Oh my god! Whoa! Shoot it in the head? Shoot it in the head. That's usually the solution to these problems. Excuse me, coming through. Oh my god. Did you say? <laughs> that sledgehammer landed like an inch behind my butt. Oh my god. This is fine, don't worry. Everything is under control. Don't mind me. That guy's head's cracked off and he's still coming. I'm not a fan of this. Excuse me! Uh, excuse me. Oh my god. Wait, can he hear them? Oh, you missed. If he can hurt them, he's not trying hard enough. Ow, son of a... Oh dear. I'm upset that he does not seem to care about hitting his own friends. Are you dead? Stay dead. He is dead. 
Ow, oh, I'm going to be dead in a minute. What's that, brown chicken egg? Don't mind if I do. Middle of combat, pop an egg. He's dead. You're not. You are now. Okay. Okay. Came in here with 30 bullets. Leave with nine. What did you drop? A velvet blue? I do not feel like that was worthwhile. But then on the other hand, there was a ladder inside of this building here. And I wonder if there is loot at the top of the ladder. Wait, is there anything? I, should I check this drawer? I didn't, but there's a ruby in the drawer. Man, these people, where did they get all these rubies from? Gunpowder. I should mention we can make our own ammunition, and I really probably should. Resources? Using resources and gunpowder, funny enough. Ah, bullets. Hopefully we don't need to, but... Worth keeping in mind. Right, there was a box behind. Can I get down there? Hey, more bullets? More bullets? In fact, this probably would have been a really good place to fight these guys. I don't know why I didn't do that. I get down there? Uh, oh, I have to drop off from over there, I think. Please don't, like, fall through the floor or anything. What's this? Oh! Is this for the cog? Shotgun shells. Am I supposed to have a shotgun? I like having a shotgun would be very helpful. Do I want to jump off the edge here? Probably not, but I'm going to do it because, you know, there's a treasure chest down there. And I really like treasure, and I'm pretty sure it's the beer steam in the original game. I wonder what it's going to be in this one. A flagon. Alright. Combining treasures. You can view the treasures you've collected in the key items and treasures menu. Some treasures can be sold at a high price by fitting them with gemstones. I'll buy it for a high price. More money? Can I knife this? I can. Didn't damage the knife either. Either that, or the kitchen knife that's in our hands is uh, surprisingly resilient. <laughs> right, let's go back up there again and see if we can put that cog in the in the mill. Not entirely sure what it's going to achieve, but why not? A cog made out of wood. It has been removed. It repairs. Is it going to stop the mill? Oh no, it's going to open the uh, portcullis. Wonderful. Why does this village have a portcullis? I feel like that's a, that's a question we need to ask. Uh, what kind of? We're in Spain, right? Is it just normal for villages in Spain to have a portcullis, just, you know, chilling? Alright, well, this is as far as I got in hardcore. I've never seen anything past this point, so, uh, yeah, well, we're blind again now. What's in here? Huh. I've got to ask. Can I just disarm this? I don't know why, but I was fully expecting me to, to press X and it to just go bleep, bang. My original question was, could I, uh, could I like, steal it and use it? <gasps> Is that a yellow herb? A fabled yellow herb? Let's go. I need this. Do I actually have... I do. So a yellow herb uh, increases your maximum health. The amount of... It increases by varies depending on what the herb is combined with. So normally you'd want to you'd want to craft 
Oh, so I have to mix green and yellow first? Wait, what? Plus red? Okay, so wait, so if I go green... Can I not just do all three? Green, red, plus yellow? No, I, ha I have to do like mix then mix. How have they somehow made this less efficient than the first game? So if I, if I do this, and then I can go craft this into that. There we go. A blend of green, red, and yellow herbs will restore almost three times as much health as a single green herb and increases your maximum health. There's also an auto sort button, which is awesome, but also makes me sad because half of the fun of this game is organizing your attach case. So I may just stick to doing that manually, you know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sudden realization of where I actually am, huh? Cow. The only enemy, I'm telling you. These cows, they're after me. What the hell? Go away, cow. Why, this bridge looks a little bit more rickety than the last one. It is still made out of, like, steel f wires, though, so it can't be too bad, right? Is that... Is that just a wagon full of meat? Why is that a wagon, wagon full of meat? Oh man, I gotta move it. I don't want to touch that thing. Let me just break these barrels first. Money? Gunpowder? Can we go through here? I mean, this looks exciting. What's this? Nope. Alright. It's worth keeping in mind. Uh, definitely locked. So we have to... Wait, was there another passage? This? Wait, wait, where's that? Around the back? This did not look walkable. Huh. Oh. Uh, that's why I should always look at my map. Don't trust this, not gonna lie. Looks a little fishy. But then, apparently there's just a box here, so I will we'll take it. Money. You never have too much money. Well, that door's locked. I guess we got to push the meat wagon, which is just not something I ever thought I was going to say. limping. Am I hurt? I'm only hurt a little bit. Oh no. This is the explosive bit, isn't it? How many bullets do I have? Oh, 28. No, we're, we're good. Plus the 10 in the gun. Can you fall? I shot Leon. I blame Leon, but it's it's me. Oh my god, what the f Uh Uh oh. Okay, bye. See you later. Thanks for the help. Excuse me. Wait, you dropped something? You did money, bye. Hang on, excuse me, bye. Oh, 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 wrong button, run. Run, running Leon. I need their money. Very important. Question. Spinel still on the ceiling? There's no sparklies to, like, indicate that they're there, but... I swear there are normally stuff on the ceiling. I can't really see. It's it's very dark. Leon, could you pull that torch out of your pocket, please? No? Okay. Adds to the ambiance. 
bullet. If there's a bat, does that count? That's not worth quite as much. If we can stealth take down these guys. Am I hiding long grass? Is this Assassin's Creed? This is an Assassin's Creed. That sounds like dynamite. Oh! Duh! Wait. Hold. Hold that thought. You don't have dynamite, do you? Who has dynamite? Yeah, come at me. Can you just stand on this? Nice. Nice try. One step forward, mate. One step forward. Fuck's sake. How is that fair? Nice. Shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Less of that. Oh, Leon, the thing, the bear trap. The bear trap. The bear trap. Okay. That was dynamite again, wasn't it? Please, gentlemen. Can we not just be civil? Oh, God. Oh, dear. Reload, please. Ah. Get off. I think my knife just broke. Bang. Oh, God. Okay. Gun up. Stay down. Okay, he's down. Dynamite. Excuse me? Hello? Oh dear! <laughs> Bloody dynamite on the ceiling. Come on. Can you still shoot the dynamite out of their hands, do you reckon? Bird's nest up there. It did drop something, didn't it? So, that's still a thing. Ammo. Alright, where is this... You serious? <laughs> oh, bad day. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. Ow, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh my god! Guys, enough with the dynamite! I think he just blew himself up. Oh dear. Where are you getting all this dynamite? Just hold on to that for me. Oh, we blew him in half. Oh. Oh my god. I am not happy with the fact that his intestines are still moving after he's been cut in half. It, that is a horrendous attention to detail about the last Plagas, and I am not ha happy about it. Maybe we should kill this guy before I try and loot this place. Hang on. I should probably heal as well, just in case he, like, I don't know. Long balls? Or <laughs> a piece of dynamite through the roof and one shots me? I'd be very upset about this. Hang on. Oh dear! Do that again! Yep, yeah, just hold on to it. Hold on to it. Does it not blow up? There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'll never get old. What is that noise? Oh! Oh my god, it's uh, Sal- is that- no, that's not Salazar, is it? Is it Salazar? Revolt against the revolting. What's 
the name? Oh god, he's like the, the interim boss. We'll, we'll see him at some point. Okay, so note to self, if I hear that noise, it means there's a collectible thing to shoot. I probably already missed five, judging by how these games normally go. Get up there. Looks like I should be able to get up there. There's gotta be some way. It's that side. Is there a way up this way? Don't walk onto a bear trap like an idiot. Dynamite? Dynamite. Oh, panicked. I had one too many shots. It's cool. If you can hit the dynamite, that's the best way to do it. But it's a very small target at very long range. You can also just delay them throwing it. There is somebody trying to get out of that room in there, so that doesn't sound fun. Hello? I would like the crate of dynamite. Ugh. You. I don't want to take the money from the wriggly intestines. I'm guessing this is going to be locked. Judging by the uh, particularly ornate key. Yeah. So we have to head towards the banging. Which never ends well. Let's be honest. I'm sure they'll do something to subvert my expectation and make my life miserable. Usually how it goes, it'll be like, oh, you were expecting this, but what you're actually going to get is this. That's one of these boxes. Can't get into them without the key, though, so I don't know where we're going to get that key from. I assume it's going to be from a boss or something? I know you come through a lot of these areas again. The place. By the lake? I mean, it's by the lake. It's a very pretty lake of that. Hey, honey. Alright, well. You got me. Housekeeping. It's probably not good when you find a hand grenade in somebody's <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> Is this another lock drawer? I'm starting to think that these might be lock pickable drawers. Like in the other Resident Evil games, or the more modern Resident Evil games. Go slow, I can hear it. yeah. I can hear bombs. And bullets? Uh this means absolutely nothing to me. You're going to mention the noise now? Yeah, it's been, that noise has been going on for a long time. Oh, this wasn't what I thought it was, I'll tell you that much. Let me just... No, I was going to stab him in the back. Dead? Dead. Okay, nope, they subverted my expectation. I thought it was going to be a man in a cupboard. <laughs> Leon just makes the same noises. You telling me a guy with an axe couldn't get through the floor, but Leon can just open this thing up with his foot? Leon, you're such a hero. I don't know how he manages it. Torch, please. Thanks. Blue and steady. It's a, the, there's a sack, and the sack is fucking moving, and I'm not happy with it. 
I mean, honestly, I should probably just cut, cut, put, put, put a couple bullets in it beforehand, but no, let's, let's see what it wants. Hey, you're normally in a cupboard, mate. That hurts, you know? It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? <laughs> Shoot first. Oh, God. Oh, no. And that is the end of chapter one. Well, they have changed enough of this game for it to be it to feel different. But it is still very, very interesting. Let me just quickly save the game. Can I get my results? What are my results? Oh, it's just money. Or CP. Uh, it took me 49 minutes. I killed 39 enemies. I died no times. And I have an 83% accuracy rating. And I got damaged 19 times. But I think this is where I'm going to end the first episode of Resident Evil 4 Remake. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to the members who help support the channel. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.